additional spinach for you so that's basically what that looks like it will boil I will strain it out let it cool for a moment and then like take out that because it was now um, pulled from the ground in a sense so there's a little bit of sand in there just to make sure that there's no sand when I cook because when it's a chew on sand then I'll strain it out of the water and then put a new fresh water in here and then start the nice cooking process this here when you boil the water first with the spinach in and then let it cool and then strain the spinach it um it 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 fastens or no it it makes the cooking process um faster basically also then you waiting for the for for it to like um for, for you instead of you putting it in water and let it soak for a while like that so it makes the whole process much faster i don't have a lot of time so that's basically what i'm going to also do as well there we go so i quickly just wanted to come in and show you guys and how you want to strain the 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 traditional chicken This whole entire situation here is sand. You see that? That is what you're trying to take out of it because you want people to eat all of that. So you're straining as much as possible. I'm busy straining mine now. You can see. So you want to do that until you get very clear water and not like any residue at all when you're done straining the. Look at that. Focus, girl, focus. But all of that is literally sand. It doesn't want to focus now. But all of that is literally sand. That is what you're trying to remove from the spinach. So if you ever eat like traditional spinach and it's done this like so badly. like that is a no-no for anybody who eats it dirty scent you can literally see the scent there more scent there more scent see it requires a lot of cleaning and I'm so that's done all that sand I showed you came from here I need to do this exact same thing with this pot and everything that's in here so sifting 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 yay success see final sand out of the spinach Ooh. And here's the bulb and, done. And, and, and lift them, and lift them and so that's basically and that. <laughs> now we put it back in the pot with like the onions and the salt and the, all the good stuff. Sand. <laughs> so we've got a good amount of tomatoes. For the traditional spinach, I don't use so much onion. Even if that pot is big, I'll probably use like two of the two onions. Probably do like yeah, two onions. No, maybe one and a half, and then something like six tomatoes, or maybe the whole pack probably do the whole pack yeah I'm gonna cut up the whole pack there you go and then I have traditional butter here somewhere my parents put it somewhere ah so instead of using oil I'm going to use cow there we go cow butter basically what ours look like you can get it in the shops 
traditionally made that it looks like so i'm gonna add that to there now the how i usually make mice oh we have a nice light here by the fridge weird random showing you things how i cook my spinach now that it's like boiled and all of that stuff i'm going to remove it from the pot again yeah. then i'm gonna saute the onions by themselves for like a minute or so until they're nice and soft i will add the a little bit of like oh i'll add the the the, the cow butter traditionally made butter just a little bit because i'll add it at the end like another like spoonful because i want that taste to come up before like eating it 